you, you know what it's like? It's like you're dreaming something. Look at look at me. It's like we are dreaming. Suppose I'm dreaming something. I'm dreaming that I'm being chased by a tiger. Suppose I'm I'm dreaming. I'm running. It's coming. It's coming. Coming right. And then he actually catches up with me, no? And in this moment, he, he grabs me, and he grabs me. And at this moment, I wake up. Okay. In this moment, I wake up. And uh, you are next to me, and you say, "Muji, what's up? What's happening?" I'm going. He said, And I said, "Can I say it? he's got me? He's got me. He's got me." He said, "But where? Where has he got you? You you are not you are you were dreaming." Yeah. But I can't escape because he's got me. Suppose I'm talking. It. I can't escape because he got me. He's got me. But what? Where is he? I don't know because I just can't. I can't do anything now. He's got me. Then you're still sleeping. If you see something that. The, the, this this feeling of a uh, person that something terrible is happening to and then i say but you're looking at this from the i am be the i am then immediately you see wait a minute wow i was feeling i was falling down into some hole with something and thank you for bringing me back to my true place then when you true place you cannot be saying Wow, wow, that was a near miss. You say, no, no, that was just that was just such a it's just such a dream. It's a powerful dream, but now I see it's just dream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But while it's happening, you're still ah the tiger's got me. Mm -hmm. But that's <sighs> But is it happening? I'm so sick of these openings and closings and and when I, if you listen, because I am sitting every morning, okay, with all my heart, to convey to all of you the single truth that I keep hammering at, hammering at, hammering at. You are not listening. Mm -hmm. Even when you speak and say, "I am so sick of this Muji," I say, "This one who is sick of this, you know, which is being identified with so strongly. Even this, can't you see?" Even this you are not. You feel this is all you know. No. But you know, okay. but this is but this itself is a phenomenon. Yeah. And people struggle because they say, But my God, my God, but if this is a phenomenon, then where is my life? I see it, I see it. Even without them speaking, I see it, I see the look in them. Like like, wow, I'm not sure if I if I can let go of my life. But no. or Would something. You, you know? you please hear where I've been. What I've known, I get so often this feeling of this dream that I'm almost in a lucid dream sometimes. And <clears throat> when there's. Can you cope with this retreat? Yeah. Then stay on it. Listen to every word. Search yourself with them and see. Because I'm only telling you what is true and what is free. And I so, so believe you, Muji, and well, I experience. Not only believe. When you believe me, then follow me. Follow what I'm pointing. Because then belief becomes experience. And don't talk anymore about the past. When we talk about past, then you say that it is important. In the past, there's so many things there, but you bring it back, and then you give it life. Apart from that, it has no life. Your no, past, no, no, but your past is not alive in my mind or anybody else's mind but you, because you gave it permission to be there. That's why I say don't don't talk about this, because if you get so much into the habit, even when you're not directly thinking about it, it seems to be present in your life. And I'm showing you this. Just you can you can do it. You can turn away, leave that. Because otherwise, this become a kind of habit, you know. And then, before you know it, it's kind of playing out like a movie in yes. your head, isn't it? Yeah. 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 But you're but not it now. No, I'm not. And then, you know, when my mother died, I blessed her soul. I, I forgave. I mean, I understood, you know, why I'm the blah blah blah. It, it's not the story. And so often, I've been wanting to write to you because 
I'm in the I am, and the only thing that's troubling is that I feel something's watching. I mean, obviously, I'm experiencing the I am, so... You and must take it that you and the I am are the same one. Not you are in the I am. You are in the I am as the I am itself. It's not true. If you say, I'm in the I am, and you keep a distinction, then you are other than the I am, being in the I am. This is some, it's like too much excess of thoughts there, and they are not true. You have to throw out the ones which are not true. When you say I, it is the I am. But what happens is that somehow the I gets converted into the person. And the I am is being like the person. This, this feelingless feeling, as you call it, or this unknowing, knowing, it's almost like a double exposure in a picture. Like there's, there's me, and I'm then there's. I'm talking about that which remains when the mind is not feeding on concepts. You see, very, very subtle. It is here like this. I don't mind concepts because I'm not afraid of them now. One time I used to believe, oh my God, that's you know that these concepts are so strong. Then I realized they're not strong. They, their strength is my belief in them. And this is what I try to convey to everyone. It's not the words, it's not the concepts by themselves. It's the amount of belief that you have, an identity you have with them. That is all identity. You see? If you stay in the egoic state, in the identity state, it, as you see, it's a very demanding state. It's a high maintenance state. And it's a very unreliable state. And this is why if something is playing around, like it's playing in your and then when I say, but you're not this, you're not able to really fully, you know, absorb that pointing. Because somehow the thing in your head seemed more real, more loud. Sometimes I'm totally not I the I, the, the, the person is so far away. For hours, sometimes even a couple of days it stays like that. The person is seen, but it's it's seen. It's 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 far, far away. There's so little identity with it. It will come up. And then I'll see it, and then it will just. At the go moment, into what's nothing. happening is that the person is being played out like a strong vasana. You know, some word vasana. Mm -hmm. And uh, in in the case of consciousness in this form, the strong vasana is the fear of rejection. Mm -hmm. You see, abandonment, rejection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is the thing that is going to be the thing that triggers identity the most. And all vasanas, all troubles, they are always personal. It means that it brings you into the state of personhood. It's only a person can feel abandoned. Only a person can feel rejected. Consciousness cannot feel rejected. It cannot suffer from rejection because it's the all-seeing eye. It just sees. It has no story. It has no past. It doesn't have relationships in that way. It perceives everything. And yet, out of that perception, it imparts love and peace and clarity to the instruments of consciousness. It's it's just like that. And when I start to feel it, I immediately go, okay, who's feeling rejected? Who's feeling abandoned? And sometimes I can go into it and it disappears and then I'm fine. But then a stronger situation will happen and it just keeps and I know it's consciousness showing when me. When you this. do this, when you do the inquiry and you say, I do this, and I, I say, who is then? Who is suffering here? Who is happening to? And then somehow it goes away, and I'm fine. I want to pick it up at this I am fine place. Yeah, mm -hmm. you do the inquiry. All of you can listen because it's so important. When you come to the place like I do the inquiry, and uh, at some point then I see who you know who is suffering this, who is suffering this, and then you say, then everything falls away, and I'm fine. I want to look at this place. Because nobody's doing it. When you do the inquiry and you say, you know, who is suffering it and it's not found, yeah, there is absence of it. Then you say, then, then I'm fine again. This I should have no identity. You're fine as consciousness. You're not fine as a person. Because if you're fine as a person, you're going to be also another time not fine as a person. Because a person is not an equal state. When you say, I'm fine again, you must mean that I is just consciousness. You keep remembering your consciousness. Keep um, perceiving in the, on, the, on the basis of being consciousness. You know, 
you will suffocate the person. The person is consciousness also, but while it is you know strong, the consciousness consciousness cannot come through. It's, it's blocked by the person. Person has got the highlight. It's a one-man show, and it's on stage every moment. You see, and yet you're not this thing. If you feel agitation in your being and some strong emotional waves. Don't identify and say, "But this is me. I'm feeling like this at the moment, and I don't know what to do." Don't get it, because that's exciting thought. That's exciting the thought activity. Easy. Don't identify with anything. So there's a feeling inside the body, like <sighs> you can still be the emptiness, experiencing it from emptiness. You still feel this thing, like you know, <sighs> but inside it's still empty. You say, "But how is it possible?" I say, "Sit and and you you will see for yourself." No, I'm often understand. experiencing both states, almost both states simultaneously. But the peace inside is not experience. The peace inside is the self. It's not someone else's experience. It is you. This thing you have to know, because if you say that I also experience the peace, then you make the self into a phenomenon, and then you escape being the, being the, the still the person, but not quite explained or accounted for. So what do you, what, what I mean, do you do? I mean, where do you put the focus on then? If it, you put it doesn't, the, whatever you put the light of focus on, it is not you. Even if you put that on yourself, it's not you. You are still the one who is seeing, and nobody can see this one. You don't have to be something. You think you have to be something, and so your mind is looking. It's restless until it finds this something. And because it wants to see something, it will create something to see. And then you say, Ah, so now I see what I, I, I am. <coughs> it will not be right. You have to you have to bear um, the clarity of being nothing. Okay. And then all of this, all this trouble will go. In fact, the trouble you're having in your life, you can use it now because it is so much powerful food for realization. If your life was sweet and stuff, maybe you don't have the drive for freedom. If it's too bitter, you probably don't have the drive for freedom also. But you are here, so it must be something. You are here for this. You see. Again, when you feel you're doing your inquiry, and then somehow you feel a space opens up, then you say something feels, Oh, thank God for this. It's so great. I'm so glad I'm out of this. Don't claim this identity as yours even. It's I'm just not, I'm not clear on that. The yeah, second yeah, part. Yes, yes. So and this is what I'm trying to get across. Uh, that something feels, you know, my mind is just in so much trouble at the moment, so much trouble. And then somehow I do the inquiry, who is suffering this? Who is suffering this? And then you come to see it's nothing is suffering this. Oh my God. And then the suffering drops away. And then something feels relief. Oh thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, Muji. Thank you, so much. Oh, this is so good. And I still say to you, this is good, but still don't identify with this one. You see, because he's feeling good now. He's going to feel bad later again. Mm -hmm. You see. So whatever can fluctuate, this identity which can fluctuate, don't identify. And then somehow by itself, you will come to be aware of a deeper space, which has no title, has no name. It's not enthusiastic. It's not positive or negative. It's beyond all quality. It cannot be seen. It's not tangible. It does not have arms and legs. It's pure consciousness. You are the pure consciousness. You've always been this, but you've not always been aware of it. You see? Because somehow the attention was caught get catching phenomenon. And even yourself as the person is a phenomenon, but it's the last phenomenon that you catch. Because if you catch this phenomenon, it's like the game is up. And there's something that's protecting this phenomenon, making sure that it lives on and on and on. And it will keep on bringing in new bodies and more bodies and stuff, to keep having more and more phenomena. So when you catch this one that feels, Oh, thank you, thank you, Lord, thank you, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. I say, even this, I'm not satisfied. It's OK, it's better. 
because now you're out of the state of suffering, but still you're not out of the state of trouble yet, because this one will also fluctuate. I don't even want to use this as a pain pill anymore, because I see it's a temporary pain pill, and then it comes back even stronger. And the self-inquiry is often not from pain. It's it's just going in. The and culmination and the fruit of self-inquiry is that you come again to emptiness. You are not left anymore. Nothing is left of you. Nothing is left of you. It's like you're eaten by piranhas. Nothing is left of you. They eat your fingernails, your shoes. They eat everything they'll eat. Nothing must be left of you. It sounds horrible. Oh my God. No, 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 no. No, it doesn't. But, but this nothing that's left of you is just the limitation of the identity that you're now talking. Because actually, no piranha can eat the self. Let it eat the non-self. You know how you often say, "Oh, it's scary to give up this." <laughs> there is absolutely nothing. I like well, about this person. Sometimes, if you intensely dislike your person, it's still an attachment. Maybe Yet that's what it is. There are different forms of desire. To say that I really want this thing is a desire, but to say I really don't want it is also a desire. When you're neutral of both, you know, love and hate, want and not want, then you're in the space of. Pure neutrality. It's here that the miracles begin. You're not interested in miracles. Uh, you'll see them every day. Even now, this world is a miracle, but we don't see it. We're far too blinded by the egoic limitations. You see, we are. We have greater faith in the laws of physics than in the than in the, the, the creative power. This is just continue following because my guy I don't have a big map because I don't have distances to cover. But follow my words like that. Follow them inside. Most maps tell you go outside, but my map tell you to stay here. It's the craziest map of all. They tell you don't move. Stay here. That's the only time I feel true mm. peace is when I go in. But you know what is holding me? The, the desire is there. I've given up everything to be fully into this, to do nothing but this. By doing, I mean just the inquiring, the praying, and what is it, Muji? I mean, what, what's in that little pocket? Because you feel I go in. The one who goes in can come out. I feel what? You feel I go in side, and the one who goes in can go out also. <laughs> I am that one that doesn't go in and out. I'm just here. Phenomena goes in and out, as it were, but I'm not concerned about that. But then, how do you do inquiry? How do you go in? Uh, yes, I have to just blast these ideas as mere kind of delusion. At first, because we believe strongly that we are the person, then you have got to. The person means separation anyway. Then that separated identity I must try and and connect and be one with what it's separate from. This is the yoga of existence. But it is dream. Because ultimately, of course, we practice on the basis of this identity. But as you go more deeply into you know the realization of the self, you come to see that. But there's no two. Really, there's no two. There's something playing as though it's two, but really it's one. You start, it's, you start to get a hint first, and then actually you don't solve the mystery that there's not two, there's one. You just discover the one. You just discover that there's just the one, and the idea of two doesn't come anymore. It's not that you discover that the two is one. First, you only discover the one, and there's no two. The discovery of the one is not one discovering another. It's just somehow you find that there's there's just this. It's like an empty space, but there's no like, there's no room for two in it. There's not even room for one in there. It is before one, and, and definitely before.
for two. So it's just Grace that's going to show me this. Grace is showing you now. And keeps showing you and showing you. And each time it's showing you, Grace is never disappointed. Because each time it shows you, a little bit more of your brain falls apart. A little bit of your mind falls apart. A bit of your identity is falling apart. It keeps showing and showing. Then one time you see. But the seeing that you see is not a duality, see. You see with pure understanding. But it is all just it's all just this. This and me, they are the same. But this me is not personal anymore. The person was the story. I like the song today at the end of Satsang. He says, you know, that um, I'm just in the right place I need to be. But I would say, oh, I wonder if they understand this thing. What is the right place? It's not an outer place. You're only ever in the right place in the place that you need to be. You're always in the right place when you are you are the self. If you're just the body, you can only be in the right place for a little while, and then it will you'll run out, and you have to find another right place. But if you're in a true place, you see, then you realize. But I mean, I, I never have left this place really. I just keep, I've just been distracted for all this time, believing I'm something else. So what's happened is that sometimes the very powerful, whatever it is that has been playing some havoc in your life, here and there in different places, follows you around. And now in Satsang, it comes up to the surface. You see? But you're still not it. And what happens is that, like I say, all problems are personal. Because all suffering is personal also. Because you start to feel, you know, what's going to happen to me? And this me, nobody puts a light on what the me is. Because you take the me to be a fact. Whereas in truth, the me is fiction. If the me is fiction, the real you must be here. Must be see if you see the false me, you can only be seeing it from the real. You don't have to go looking for where's the real me. The false is seen from the place of the real. You see, when misunderstanding goes, understanding doesn't come. Understanding remains. So you see, it's all beautiful thing I tell you. I'm not flattery. Just I point, keep pointing it back. Stay here, you see. And these menacing shapes and these memories and so on, they will just whack you away. Because they don't exist by themselves. Your memory won't terrify anybody else. Memory doesn't come back up mm. of the story. It's never the story that comes back up. It's the feeling. The story, I... No. The feeling gets also um, reinvested in. It's without investment of belief and so on, then there is no real story that can stand up by itself. No story can stand up by itself. It can always stand up by belief. I mean, um, when I see you here, I'm very happy, you know. But then your mind will go, and he will try and attack me, because he wants to get you away from here. Because you came here for freedom, and you stand the highest chance of just seeing through all this, all these games, and just be sitting in your heart. So he's going to try everything to distract you. Like this. It's just a play, it happened like that. It got worse, and I really want to ask you about this. When Remember once you said, I forget when, but you said something like, you know, don't. Usually, you just say, "I don't mind," not "I don't care," and you know, you just watch. Okay, but then a couple times you've said, "If it goes like this, really look at it." Yes. Okay, that's what I did this morning. I said, "Fuck this! I'm going in," and I went in so deep. That's something. You're going in as what? With what identity are you going in? 
this morning yeah. it was I'm combined. Yes. It was combined. It had the strength of the eye, but the person was like, the mind wanted to expose the mind at that point. It was like, enough, enough. We're going to go look at this. It's nothing. It's Can nothing. Can you go in as consciousness? It is consciousness. No. Can you go in with the soul understanding and the perspective of consciousness? Wait, so will they will they be will there be sort of like uh, any motivation to go into anything if you are consciousness? No. This is what I want you to know. So it was just the mind. But I heard you say that you have to really if it keeps going like this, you, yeah, you have take a to look, look at, it. at it. You take a look at it. Taking a look at it doesn't mean you go down, down, no. down. It's not like this. No, there's no. If you find yourself going down, 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 deep and deeper into something, it's generally deep and deeper into the mind. Oh, well, no wonder that was such terror. Yeah, the light of the self is not uh, has no depth like that. You just begin to look and say, okay, so, you know, for who who is who is, you know, who is the sufferer here, and see if you can identify any sufferer. And already, you know, the breath is fading. In the ego, because he cannot stand up to interrogation from the self. He cannot be in, he cannot be intimidated by if the interviewer is the ego. He cannot he cannot get anywhere. But if the light Wait, of the self, again? if you if you if the 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 identity which creates a sense of suffering, if he's being interviewed by the self, he can't he can't cope. He's already fading. So the expiring. But if he's been interviewed by the person, you get resuscitated each time because he's linked to the person. You see. So I was just chasing the mind. The mind was just chasing the mind into the depth of terror. It's not just the mind. It's the it's the it's the beingness or the consciousness that is a mixture of consciousness and person. But you said consciousness can't go in there. No. When you are consciousness without person, you cannot. You have no interest in going anywhere because you're in the self-complete state. So, it was the consciousness mixed with the mind that went into that's what that's therapy? mostly. Most people come to satsang now is consciousness mixed with the mind. Everybody in the world, mostly, their consciousness mixed with the mind, but they're only aware of themselves as the body mind. But even in satsang, there's still consciousness mixed with the mind, with the person, and it's the person part that's kind of like you know. Causing the trouble, so to speak. When consciousness is aware of itself as consciousness, the consciousness mind loses interest for that. No power is there. So you should never do what I just did. It's better not to. You, in fact, when you I mean, when you're so aware when you're aware of yourself as consciousness, there is no motivation to go deep into anything of the mind. It's for what? Why would I go? If I have a full meal on my table, why should I be looking under the table for for food? It just there's nothing there to go for there. You're going to do it. You have to do it. First, sometimes we try out many things that go wrong. You can't because you try to maybe the wrong thing, or you misinterpret or misunderstand. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's part of finding your way. But once you see the higher way, and then desist from following the old way. Just keep understanding what I'm speaking because it's not the easiest thing to understand, although it's the most simple. But because we're listening sometimes, and the mind is in there listening as well too. You see, it's it's some distortion come. If you find yourself looking very much into your person, going deeper, you're in your mind. I totally misunderstood you. I really thought if you follow at a point, it will just blow up, and you'll see that there's nothing there. But of course, you do, you see that in inquiry. You started off looking with a bit of with a bit of person, a bit of consciousness, but if you keep looking into phenomena, then you're becoming more the person and more the person and more the person, and next minute you lose your your consciousness. Um, perspective. If you look from the place of consciousness and you keep remembering your consciousness, although there's a sense of person, makes it worth looking for something. If you're totally consciousness, you're not interested in following any of the mind stream. It so no at power. the end, finally, it just 
opened up and was that the mind was that the cop <laughs> playing a game with me I mean just light came in and it was just I can't say that that's a game I can say that somehow because of the force of your intention and because you are searching for truth you will have experiences but if mistakes in the guidance is there or in the interpretation of the guidance and then somehow you just prolong this sense of looking because you're not looking at the right thing. It's like trying to look at them at the moon using a flashlight. It's not going to make any impact on it. At all. Oh, now that you've told me, I'll never do that again. Yeah, very mean, good. Never. You see, this is the real dialogue. In fact, that if you understand clearly, you you move in where where you're pointed. I mean, I would follow every single tiny little word you say. I don't know if you know my devotion to you. I sense it more and more. Your consciousness becomes very light and cool and strong. That's what you can do. If you go towards the person, you start to go into more emotional states and then confusion and then you know insecurities start to come. This is a way of telling, you know, I'm in the wrong way. I shouldn't be going into a kind of volatile field. You know, when I'm looking with from a clear place, your seeing is very clear and cool and composed. There's a serenity here. You may feel some energy moving in the body, but you know it's not this is not the ultimate state. It's just the byproduct of, of real seeing. It's coming up. You can feel like shit in your body actually. When you're looking, when you begin to look, because all that stuff begins to shift, it's, it's come up like this. But you still see that you're looking from st from stillness. When there's, it never ever bothers me because even though it hurts like hell, I'm always from a physical standpoint, I have zero problem stepping back, looking at it, and, but. Yeah, it's it's it's. I think it's, it's more from the emotional side. Yes, you know, you the body when it hurts. Mm -hmm. I told you when I had the cancers, I laughed. I mean, I just knew there was nothing to it, but it's it's the mind that's just. And yet, so often the space that you speak about. <clears throat> These aren't words, Muji. I, unfortunately, I haven't been around you when I'm there. When I'm, it's so often it's like, yeah, and I'd be around Muji now. So, as a thank you gift, because I know when you see us like that, that's the biggest bouquet of roses for you. Is when you see us into this. But even sometimes I see people into that, and I'm not already so sure. I start to push a bit further, you know. But shit comes up when I'm there. And it goes, okay, here she goes again, and I watch. It's okay if there's, a, there's good shit and bad shit. No, but even if, if, the, if you the are abandonment looking and, shit comes yeah. up, and I can handle okay, it. Okay, but then still, I will still discern that it's still not a big deal for you. And I would encourage you, listen, don't go into that. And, okay, thank you, boom, finish. Yeah, it's mm. like, oh, here she goes again. And I can stay in that for a couple of days, and... How I mean, can you I, stay? I, you cannot stay. I mean, the you, attention you just, stays yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm telling you something that doesn't matter because attention cannot stay anywhere for too long. By its nature, it's restless. So when the attention finds the heart, it starts to love the energy of the heart. But it's still going to go out. It will still go out, little excursions out. There's something that cannot go out, it cannot even go in. But it watches attention. It's aware of attention, but it's not attending to attention. It, it is just totally, just complete. Muji, you are the source, reminding me of who I am. Muji, you are the Shining within us, eternal love. You blow.